Hi, I'm Terry Brock. Like you, I find that I want to stay with businesses that are going to take care of me and do the right thing consistently over a period of time. However, I got unstuck from a very devoted, long-term relationship recently in business, and I want to share this with you and the ramifications for your business as well. See, I'm a die-hard Marriott person. I travel a lot, traveling around the world, different places, and when I have a choice, I often will stay at Marriott properties. Now, always, I have had very good performance, very successful experiences with Marriott. I particularly like their courtyard Marriott, and every time I've been there, I've found that it's been very, very good. However, I made a shift recently, and because of what happened to me, this is the kind of thing that can happen to you in your business with your customers. I was talking a while back to a friend of mine, a fellow professional speaker, Brian Townsend, and Brian was telling me how he often traveled and stayed at the Hampton Inns. I thought, well, that's kind of interesting, Hampton Inns versus Courtyard, because we kind of like the Marriott, but I tucked it away and thought about it. Then another friend of mine, professional speaker also, Phyllis May, talked about how she stayed at a particular Hampton Inn because of the goodies that they provided, some milk and cookies, and they provided a bottle of water and little things like that. And I thought, hmm, sounds like a, an interesting experience as well. And then I was getting ready to go to a conference somewhere and they were charging the rates and everything. I went and checked and thought, gee, could I use my Marriott points for that? And come to find out, if I used all the Marriott points that I've got, and I got a bunch of them, I would still have to pay extra almost as much as they had for that conference in order to just stay there. Plus, I'd be depleted of all my miles. So I started thinking, maybe I should be so stuck with Marriott and so I looked into the Hampton Inn and you know what I went over there and this last weekend stayed at a great Hampton Inn just down the street from the courtyard Marriott that I was going to stay and you know what the Hampton Inn charged ten dollars more than the courtyard Marriott but they did a few extras and you see that's the difference in business in your business it's those little extras that will bring customers over to you versus the competition. Those little extras that often don't cost anything. What were they? Well, at Hampton Inn, they provided cookies and milk. And it was really nice. I had been driving all day, kind of tired, and the cookies and milk sounded good. I had two. <laughs> two cookies, two glasses of milk, and that was really nice. Plus, in Florida, where I was, gave us a little bottle of water. And I like that. Just a little bottle of water. Now think about it for a moment. How much did those extra cookies and extra milk cost Hampton Inn? Not much at all. And how much did it cost them for a little extra bottle of water? Not much. They actually did a very good job all the way through. It was pleasant. I felt welcome. And I thought, you know, this is going to be a place that I'll stay. Even though they charge $10 more than the Courtyard Marriott. But they provided those little extras. And I realized my points at Marriott don't mean that much when I'm getting ready to actually use them. So I thought, why not be a little bit independent? You know, the same thing applies in frequent flyer miles. And the same thing applies in a lot of cases today. We've got to make sure that we provide those extras, but we also, as businesses, have to measure where it's coming from. Here's a little tool that you might be using now, and if you're not, I encourage you to look into it. Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a free tool from the folks at Google that let you determine where people are coming from and carefully and accurately measure where your traffic is coming from, what pages they're coming from, how long they stay, things like that. Marvelous little tool for that. In the past, we often have said, well, I don't know where my advertising, what advertising is working, but I know that half of it is wasted. Well, that is a saying that's been attributed to many great business leaders in the past. Today, we can measure it exactly. And we know where people are coming from, we know how long they stay on the site, we know where they go, et cetera, et cetera. And those are things that you can use to measure because your customers will become unstuck. They're going to change, they're going to look at different things, they're going to see new options all the time, and we're flooded with a whole series of options that are available. What you want to do is carefully look at how you can improve it, providing a little bottle of water or so, like the Hampton Inn did for me. What is the bottle of water that you can provide? Oh, by the way, the Hampton Inn also provided some delicious fruit of apples, some bananas, some oranges. And I got a soft spot for fruit, so I found that it was really, really nice to be able to have that as well. The little things mean everything? Yeah, they mean everything in business, not just a whole lot. And so you want to make sure that you look at that and then measure the results. Hey, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. If you've got comments, drop me an email, terry 
at terrybrock.com or drop over to the website and look around at www.terrybrock.com. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Now, I'm going to go back and have a little bottle of water. <laughs>